Hi. So I wanted to do a little bit of a chatty section that's kind of talking about um, dealing with um, making mistakes. And I'm kind of use a very simple, small example that I just kind of experienced and kind of fixed finally um, after a few days. Um, but basically, it's a simple knowledge that can be applied to everyday life, and even just the act of taking really small, casual examples of things that don't really matter and actually using them as a reflection point, that you can actually use them to kind of guide you to understand that, no, even the bigger things in life actually work this way. So, on to the tail. Um, I cook most of my food um, just for the sake of, I'm a vegetarian, so it actually tends to be a lot easier, and I only basically eat out like from hanging out with people type of thing. Um, so this week, one of the things I cooked was a, well, <laughs> what I was intending to cook was a really awesome chili, which I've done several times. What I have a tendency to do when I make chili is that I don't know why, I've always had this thing where I don't want to overdo the chili, but I, in that mentality, I tend to actually over, and I tend to start underdo it. So this time around, in making it, I thought, no, 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 this week is going to have the right amount of chili, it's not going to be too little. And so what I ended up doing is, I went absolutely berserk and put way too much chili in there to the point where it was actually like on fire hot. And I've, I personally actually never have had chili to the point where I understood why it was called chili. I always wondered why, but this week I basically understood like, okay, this is why it's called chili. This is very hot. Um, and I'm also not really one to actually throw away food, and especially it was a pretty good sized pot of wannabe chili. So I basically, for like two days, kept trying to add different things here and there to change it to make it something I can actually tolerate, and it just wasn't cutting it. But me being me, I just kind of kept at it and kept adding different things until finally today, it and it ended up being a really nice, um, really nice stew of just like vegetables and beans, and it tastes amazing. Um, to the point where I actually a wish I had the recipe and b wish it was not almost done. And so as I was eating the soup, I was literally doing the, mmm, this is really good. Um, and I just kept thinking, um, just in general, about how life is kind of that way in a cool way as, as far as there's really no such thing. Um, well, there's not too many things that are really that big of a mistake or mistakes that you can't really work with as long as you're willing to, A, be patient with it um, and be re basically have like some time to actually reflect on it and actually try new things and in a way too it's like not being afraid to make a mistake because actually the funniest thing is that at first I, when I was trying to fix it I was trying to fix it but like in a careful way but after a while I was like okay this is just really just hot and there's nothing I basically can't mess this up at this point so let me get creative and just kind of throw different things in there and just see what happens and in that mentality I ended up making a really awesome wild stew and um, my experience in a lot of these different situations has actually been along the same lines. Where it's like, a, it's like if you're afraid of making a mistake, um, you kind of tippy toe. You might actually block out all these other possibilities of things that could work. Um, so there's that, and then also the idea that it's like, okay, well, the fact of the matter is, this is what I have to work with. Um, so this is what I have to work with, and what can I do to maybe make the situation a lot better. Um, so yes, I was like applicable to soup, but just in general with life, that's kind of how things are. I was like, this is where you are, who you are, what you have, and what can you do from right here to make your situation maybe better or something that you more enjoy, and then surprisingly, you actually open up a lot more opportunities. So I just kind of wanted to share that, a little bit of food for thought, and then maybe you can sit down and look at your own life and just, a, like, see, just kind of be a little bit easier with yourself as far as, like, not judging yourself if you make any mistakes and understanding that there's actually probably something quite amazing on the other end of it if you're patient enough um, and kind enough to yourself to actually see that. Um, and then B, even outside of this mistake situation, just using simple things in life that don't really technically matter. Like, I mean, if I actually ended up having to throw away the soup or if the soup ended up, well, just not being good, period, no matter what I did, it's not really that big of a deal. Um, so finding little examples um, in life that kind of don't really matter, but when you can find really great lessons in them, kind of using them to encourage you in other parts of your life too. Alright, I hope this has been helpful and have an awesome rest of the day. Peace out.